Hey everyone, this is my 1999 Dodge Neon, just with over 100,000 miles on it, just turned over here recently. And uh, today the uh, power steering belt popped off on it, uh, came out to start it, and all of a sudden I realized I had no power steering, and these uh, cars are notorious for that to happen, and that same belt goes around the power steering unit, goes around your crank pulley, and runs the air conditioner. So if you get in the car and you start it up, then you go to move it and you realize you have no power steering. Well, more than likely, the power steering belt has popped off. I'm going to show you how to put it back on and also uh, a decent way to tighten it up where it won't uh, pop off again. <laughs> Okay, now the first thing I recommend is uh, I would put your car up on ramps because we really need to get up underneath of it to get that belt back on the bottom crank pulley and the air conditioner pulley. You can do it up here, but as you can see, there's absolutely no room. But trust me, by just putting your car up in the air and getting it on ramps, it will make it certainly a lot easier. So what we'll do, we'll go under here and uh, I'm going to hold the camera and kind of do this free-handed. Now here you have a plastic shroud. You will have to take this off. Now, uh, to make the video a little faster, I've gone ahead and taken out some bolts. There's one up there. There's a little 13 that kind of hangs in there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, once you look up there, you can see it. And there's one that goes right here. And there's a little 10 millimeter that goes right about where my finger is. So uh, all i got to do now is pull this plastic tab off. Drop this out of the way. And there are the three bolts. Now, if your vehicle's been worked on, somebody's, somebody's probably put different nuts and bolts in it. And <laughs> all that so but uh, here's the reason why I gotta take it off the belt still hung up up in here so now I gotta get my hand up here and fish it out of here and there is the belt all right there it is now the reason I say take the plastic shroud off you see here's the crank pulley here's the air conditioner pulley and it's easy to wrap this back around and get back up on top and fish it around the top of the power steering and then tighten it up and that's what we're going to do next. Okay now so we're back up on the top here. First thing we got to do is go ahead and take this hose out of the way because you got two bolts right under this hose on the back of this power steering that we have to loosen in order to tighten this up and while you're at that make sure you get a pail and put it under your vehicle because, because we certainly don't want Kitty going to the hospital do we? No, because that stuff's a little sweet and they like to lick it. So let's go ahead and get this water hose, this uh, radiator hose off. Now you might be able to just disconnect it here and flip it back, but for me I'm just going to pull the entire thing out of the way because I don't want to end up breaking anything today. Well, actually, you know what, since we've loosened this end here, we can just turn this back like this. So that will help us a little bit. And, as you can see, we're losing a little bit of antifreeze there. This is why we got the bucket underneath to catch that. Alright, now what we got to do, we got two bolts. We got one right here where my finger is, and there's one right down here. I think you can kind of see that. It's pretty bright out here. Uh, these are half inch or 13 millimeter. We got to loosen those up, so we'll break them loose. And obviously that one's a little tight. And we're going to break this one on the bottom here, loose. Oh. Okay, and that one is loose. Now one tip, use a socket like this. Use a six point. Don't use, don't use one of these guys. You will round off the head of your bolt. Use a six point socket. Makes it a lot easier. All right, now having done all that, the next thing you got to do is get you a half inch drive or a ratchet like this. And right here behind this power steering hose, just kind of push it back out of the way. And right there with my finger, as you'll see a little square plug, sort of a deal. Stick this guy in here. Like that. And this is how we will be moving this power steering up and down. You can see how that's moving there. And if I turn this down, you'll see I can push it back down. This is how we tighten the belt up with the power steering unit. So now we're going to go ahead and slide the belt on. Alright, so let's go ahead and slide this belt back down around this pulley. And I'm going to try to do this with the camera in one hand and the belt in the other. So I don't have a lot of room for my tripod. So we'll slide this down like this. Push it down. 
and we'll get it around the top of the pulley here like I said it's a little hard I might have to actually set the camera down to do this all right let's see if I can get down there we go okay we got it kind of sitting there and now let's go down here on the bottom and now we'll go ahead and slide the belt around the crank right there and we'll go ahead and slide around the air conditioner. Now, if it seems a little tight, what you'll have to do is go back up on the top here and take your little ratchet or pry bar or whatever you got and push this all the way down in that lower position like that. Then go back underneath and go ahead and fish this belt around your air conditioning pulley. And as you can see, everything is on. So now we go back on to, up to the top now we're back up on top. Now before you go tightening up the bolts, just go ahead and get a feel for where you want this to be, how tight you want it to be. Now as I do, uh, as I push it toward the car, the firewall, you can see it comes up pretty far and it's pretty tight. Take your hand and hold this ratchet and put the other hand on the belt and kind of move it and see if it feels pretty tight. And I don't think you can see my other hand, but I can shake it. It's pretty tight, so I'm going to put just a little more into it, like that. Do this again, like, but like that. feels pretty tight, and I'll go ahead and take my ratchet and go ahead and tighten this top bolt up, like, like that. Snug it pretty good. Now, let's go underneath. And while we're underneath, just put your hand on the belt, and you should have about a half inch, maybe only a quarter of an inch of movement. Feels pretty tight, and I'm happy with that. And now we'll go back up on top. And we're back up on top, and we'll just simply go ahead and tighten up the other bolt real quick, which is down here on the bottom. And tighten these bolts up to about 45 to 50 pounds. I've been doing this a long time, so I have a real good feel for these bolts. All right, that feels good. And then go ahead and tighten up the top one. Make sure it feels real good, nice and tight. And that, my friend, is how you tighten up the belt on a power steering unit on the 99 Dodge Neon. Now make sure when you're looking at this square peg here, a lot of times, if, you, if you're if you lucky, you'll get one that's not rounded out. But I've seen these rounded out so bad that you have to replace this entire bracket in order to tighten this belt up on this power steering unit because there's nowhere else to really grab. And if you try to grab anywhere else, you're going to break stuff. So uh, before you do it, just make sure, before you even do the job, just move this hose back and look at this square peg and make sure it looks like you can actually use something in there. Because I've seen these completely rounded out. And when they get rounded out, it's very difficult. And now all we got to do is put our hose back on. All right, we'll put our hose back on. And go ahead and tighten down our clamps. One here. And we are done. And that's how you do it. So uh, hopefully uh, this will help you guys out. And like I said, that belt should not come back off. So uh, I haven't had it tight before and I've never really checked it. And it seemed tight, but obviously it wasn't. And let's look under here one more time. And yeah, it's nice and tight. Not gonna come off this time. So now all you gotta do is put your uh, splice shield back on for your belts and uh, Wrap this thing up and you are done. And uh, you can be proud of yourself and save yourself some money and time. All right, so there you go, guys. Another day, another project. That's what it's all about. Keeping things rolling, right? <laughs> all right, well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and say hello and all that. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. I'm getting lots and lots of emails now. It's getting hard to keep up. But uh, hopefully I've helped somebody out on this belt on this neon so uh, thanks for watching until next time i will see you then